We have a little bit of an announcement to make, don't we? Gigantic announcement. Fans, I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've heard, we've seen tweets and people come up to us asking for the opportunity to see us on TV. We were made for TV from the beginning. Yes, Just you have you have a face for TV, that's for sure. So we are very excited to share that we will now be on MAV TV and MAV TV Plus. In prime time. Yes. Prime time. Don't leave that part out. When is this? Thursday at 7 p.m. is the official debut. I didn't think we'd ever be allowed to be, well, visible other than our YouTube videos where they can cut it out. So I think this is brilliant. I think this is amazing. Mad TV <laughs> is about to blow the f up. It's going to be I don't think you can say the that on biggest TV. network <laughs> in television why, why wasn't I told this before? I would have changed my contract. <laughs> it's just the first one. It's you're the, yes. you're the you're the debut episode. Kyle Bush leaves his parked car on pit road at the garage entrance and walks off after getting collected in Brad Keselowski's wreck. Freddie, I will be the first one on here. We we are critical of Kyle Bush, obviously, and Kyle Bush has the ability to be a complete ass <laughs> times. And sometimes his <laughs> his attitude is very calculated. If you remember last year. He got fined $50,000 for driving through the cones and almost hitting a person as he pulled into the garage. So in his mind, this is what his response was to NASCAR. Where as mad as he was at this point, he's still thinking back to last year where, you know what? They find me for hitting those cones. They find me for driving through the garage. I'm going to be it. I'm going to you know what? I'm going to park this thing right here and I'm going to get out and you can come get it. And now if NASCAR does not hammer him for this, because we what, what we sat there next to each other and talked about it, we waited three or four laps five to open laps. pit road because Kyle Busch's car was sitting in the middle of pit road. You was, have to. It was ridiculous how much time he disrupted the race. Now I know he was didn't bother me sending didn't his message. Yeah, me you any. were on your way home, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, listen, I get it, Kyle Busch. But like we we Mike Davis compared us to Kyle Busch in the in the NASCAR the media world. You need the Kyle Bushes of the world because what the hell else are we going to talk about? And and the fact that he went back to last year and remembered they fined me fifty grand for driving through those cones. You know what? I'm not doing it this time. I'll park this son of a bitch right here and I'll get out and you can come get it. So Tommy, you're a team owner. What would you uh, think about if you had Kyle as a driver in this moment? Oh, this would not go well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've said it before on <laughs> my social media, and I'll say it again. Kyle Bush is a little. Plain and simple, and uh, oh, okay, this is okay. you know. He, I mean, he 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 is. I mean, it's a it, if it wasn't for his talent, there would be no sponsor or no owner that would let him drive a race car. I think he is just so far off base on what he does, on how he does it, and all he did let yesterday is disrupt the race, in my opinion. And he could have he could have turned into that garage without a problem. Spot on, spot off didn't pay well, but call somebody a little bitch gets you a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm a... Brett, you're a little bitch. Can I please have a hundred dollars? No, you oh can't my. call me a little bitch. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs>